Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to make a tiny diorama inside this glass dome that I got from, I think it was Ikea. Now to start this off I need a base, which will be attached to this one. So I'm measuring out the circle in just using the top and pressing it into my foam and this will give me a great guide on how and where to cut my foam. And then I'm just going in with scissors. This circle doesn't need to be smooth at all, so it doesn't matter if it's a jagged cut or not. And afterwards I just trim it to size. As you might have guessed from the title, I'm going to make a mountain range, which means I need to stack some more foam on top of my circle. And for that I'm basically just using super glue. And afterwards I'm just using a really sharp crafting knife to carve out the shape of the mountain I want. After I finished carving, I'm just using my trusty paper clay and putting a thin layer on top of the whole thing. This will help it hold texture and then I'm just basically going back and forth with my pointy tool and an aluminium crinkled up foil ball thingy to make the stone texture. I cut some copper wires off camera and now I'm just twisting them into a basic tree shape, which is going to be the main feature on this mountain.
after I'm happy with all of the branches, I trim them and then bend all of the roots and branches into the shapes I want them to before attaching the tree onto the mountain base. And for that I'm using more paper clay to hide the rough edges of the roots and to just make it look more like the tree is growing out of the mountain. I gave it a coat of white gesso off camera and after that was dried I'm going to add black as my base color. Because I'm painting a mountain, black is the perfect base color for all the grey tones I'm going to use. As for the tree, I decided to also use black to really fill in all of the gaps that the copper wire might have left. And then I'm just going in with some light brown on top of that. The tree gets a light brushing of grey and green before I can start on the mountain. The mountain gets a nice dry brushing with a brownish grey before I'm adding some light strokes of white on top. This will give it some really nice definition of all of the textures that I added. I'm adding some more of the light brown on top to give it a little bit more of diversity and I will add some green later which I'm kind of sad I did because I think this looks really great but at the moment of making this I really wasn't happy with how it looked so I wanted to add more texture but I guess you know sometimes you go a step too far in trying to fix something when it already is looking great.
I tried to blend the green out with a little bit of grey while it was still wet to dull the color a little bit more and then I went over it with some more brown and another layer of grey to kind of fix it and blend it out. Since I was already really happy with how the tree looked, I decided to add the leaves and for that I'm just using some crafting moss in different colors to give it some variation between the leaves. And I'm just using basic craft glue to glue them on and it actually holds up pretty well. I wanted to add some more life, so I decided to add this really cute goat, which I found on Thingiverse. I'm going to leave the link down in the description below. And after printing it out with my resin printer, I basically just painted it with my model colors and then added it to the mountain. At this point I really was bothered by the green so I took some more white to dry brush and highlight some more stuff and I guess that definitely made it a little bit better in my opinion since the mountain kind of looks more textured now. And then it was just a thing of really placing the goat and fixing it until it was dry onto the mountain. And finally I'm just adding some stones and some moss kind of to act as bushes to make it look a bit more detailed and not so barren. And now it's finally time for the review. I'm super super happy with how this turned out. I think it looks really beautiful with an ancient tree finding its roots inside the cracks of a mountain and becoming this beautiful over time. And I think one side of the mountain that I textured with more ridges kind of really looks like a cliff. Like there was water once that kind of washed on it and textured it. I'm also really happy with the goat that looks like it's jumping up this mountain. I think it fits super well into this scenery. The only thing I'm not so happy about is how I textured the mountain. In hindsight I should have maybe cut down the foam a bit more and added a thicker layer of paper clay to texture so I could bring out more of the ridges and stuff. In some spots it definitely worked but where the goat sits is a flat spot where I couldn't really bring out the colors. But then again, on a mountain you have different textures, you have some flat spots and you have some moss growing, so I guess the green is just the moss tanking over the mountain. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think of my tiny diorama and what you may have made if you had this kind of glass dome. Anyways, I hope you're having a great day. Bye!